Oh, oh my god, hey guys, sorry, I'm just outside my house. Um, so there's literally nowhere for me to film, so <laughs> I'm gonna be filming in the car. <laughs> um, hopefully, wait, let me get in the passenger. It doesn't look that bad. <sighs> oh, look at these glasses, I barely wear them. Also my hat, kind of iconic, not gonna lie. Anyways, hey, what is up guys? It's Chris, aka Stan, and you already know, we Stan. So, I'm like out of breath. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was so stupid, okay. Anyways, I don't know who really started this trend, but I've seen like a various people do it. It's basically, obviously you can tell by the title, Childhood Signs I Was Gay. So basically, things I did as a kid or just like giveaways from when I was younger that were pretty obvious, I was gonna be gay. I was gonna come out eventually. Just getting right into it, because this is already semi-long intro. I'm not sure if this was a sign or not, but I low-key always thought it was, so I would hate confrontation with people older than me, like teachers, parents, like anyone. If they yelled at me, I would cry every time. I don't know why, I was just a huge crybaby, I guess. Yeah, I remember a few times when I was just like, why am I crying? And then, literally in middle school, if I was ever like upset or in a bad mood and one of my friends would ask me what's wrong, <laughs> it would just make me cry more. Like, if I was like upset, like trying my best like not to cry, like I'm holding it in, I'm holding it in because I'm at school, like I just got yelled at or something and one of my friends asks me what's wrong, I'm like bam and I just start crying. Anyways, that's that one. I don't know if that was actually a sign or not, but I kind of felt like it was. I don't know. I was just a crybaby, I guess, up until a certain age. And then after that age, I basically just didn't cry anymore. I didn't really play with makeup that much. I mean, sometimes I would try to use my mom's to like cover my breakouts, but that was in like high school. Uh, I don't think that really contributed. Oh, I didn't play with dolls really either. But there is this one picture I found of myself. I did not know this existed, but I can pretty much tell by this picture. Yeah, I was definitely gonna be gay. I don't even really remember it that much. But anyways, I'm gonna put it in. It's hilarious. You can laugh at me if you want. Um, I had a bop bop or a binky. I don't know what you guys call it, but I don't know why I had that. I was way too old for it. I think I was like, it was like a... Literally, I have no idea. I can't even explain it. And then the belt and the heels and the wig. I literally don't even know. Anyways, um, a definite one for me was looking at my guy teachers, butts and bulges. That was like my favorite thing to do. Like every year, I always had at least one really hot guy teacher. I mean, this was later, not like mm, middle school. Yeah, yeah, this was in middle school. Mostly like seventh and eighth grade though is when I like really started noticing and then like obviously in high school, too <sighs> Oh Man, I had some hot teachers like <sighs> Anyways, so there was another thing I always used to do around my friends or just anyone basically if I was trying to be funny I would act like really feminine sometimes like really feminine really gay I think it was just my way of like releasing my gayness in some form even though it was usually as a joke like I I joke now like I'm less gay now than before I came out because I used to always be like extremely feminine but obviously that's not even true like obviously I'm gayer now I'm still feminine sometimes but not like I was before so the next one isn't really a sign it's more kind of like a fear so after I realized I was gay and like I knew it my friends would always call me gay and call me a fag and I think it was because like I just said I would always act super feminine when I was trying to be funny or just like I don't know just like randomly so then I swear I swear they knew I was gay but I would always deny it like my face would get red I swear it scared me so much because I thought they knew but then after I came out, obviously that wasn't the real story. That's that's not what happened. If you wanna know what happened, um, I'll link this other video up here. You can go watch after. So I didn't really have crushes or interest in girls that much, even in at any grade. I mean, obviously I was one of those that dated girls in high school just to, just to convince my friends pretty much. 
<laughs> that I wasn't gay because I swear, I swear they knew. But I guess not. Yeah, I didn't really have crushes on guys either until middle school though, I think. But there is an exception to this. In second grade, I remember this, like this, I literally remember this. So I had this notepad one time. And so there were these two guys in my second grade class uh, named Connor and Zach. And like, I thought they were really cool. I really liked them. They had this thing where they would like write stories for the whole class and then read them. And I really wanted to join because I thought it was so cool. Anyways, so in my notebook, I remember I drew like this laptop one time and like on the screen, it was like a keyboard. And then like on the screen, I just wrote Zach is hot. And I eventually got it taken away for like writing some mean things in it. I know like mean, mean gays. Um, can't reveal that stuff anyways um but i know i didn't mean it as in like he's hot like i was in second grade i think it was just because i admired him and like i thought he was cool and i like i thought he was like handsome like i didn't have a crush on him but i mean i don't know if a straight guy would write that either so it's like hmm anyways yeah i know it's a stereotype that gay guys sometimes will like more feminine things aka um Having a lot of girlfriends, like playing with dolls, like I said, being the female character in video games. Um, but that wasn't it for me. I always liked everything guys. Uh, I liked hanging out with guys. I liked guys playing guys in video games. I liked guys as the main character. I liked action figures, toy cars, that type of stuff. Yeah, I would always rough house with my brothers. We would fight each other. I played soccer. You know, there's this joke that soccer guys are always gay. Not like every single soccer guy, obviously, but like more often and like I low-key feel like it's true because <laughs> I mean just because I played but also like a few other people I know that play soccer and are also gay I just thought that's funny. Anyways, I definitely think there's not one thing anyone can point to in their childhood really and be like That's why I'm gay. There's just like way too many factors that go into everything and then there's like nature versus nurture Anyways, I don't want to get like too I don't know with this video, but this video was just for fun. You know, uh, don't take it too seriously. I just wanted to guess about myself, tell you guys a little bit more about me when I was younger and maybe see if anyone could relate. So anyways, if you think there's something that was like a dead, like definite that you were gonna be gay when you were younger, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'm really curious about what you guys will have to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stan Chris, stay woke. Peace. <laughs> I love that outro.